Drew gets uh, another quarterback uh, read option up the middle. He's, he's been doing pretty well with Kaepernick on the run as far as the run game goes. Oh, broken tackle. Tampa did something different there than Havoc. Uh, he, he actually brought Deshaun Golds in, uh, kind of like a two-tiered blitz, that initial run commit, yep. and then here comes Goldson behind it. Yep. Like you said, little wrinkles. The outline's the same, but the wrinkles are a little bit different depending from player to player. Oh, bump over middle. Looks like looking, he had wide there looking, for a while. He's looking, he's looking. That was a very smart play on his part, not to force that. Because he could have easily threw into a crowd and just threw a pick. But that's, that was a very smart play. Good defense on the part of Dallas, too. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hands. Third down and 13. Uh -oh. Airing it out. Manningham with the toe tap. That's something that I was talking about with, oh. with Shop oh. was that true statement is very, very good at analyzing how this run commit defense works because the top doesn't always come off this defense when you run commit. Um, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But he's been consistently making sure to check, check that deep and then checking down to the shortstop. Yep, yep. Making smart plays, and I think that's what it's about in a tournament like this, especially given the, the amount of time you have <coughs> from uh, for the quarter. Oh, that's a good stop. Good stop, Marcella. Yeah, kind of contained the read option that uh, two states have been running for most of the day. Something Shop and I were also discussing. How would you defend the read option? How do you personally do it? Uh, personally. Uh, I, I do a, basically a, a, I would do like a pass commit, sort of a two-man under type of thing. The thing about sending blitzer, a bunch of blitzers to stop the read option is when you miss, it's touchdown. Like you give up a touchdown. Whereas if you do pass commit from like say a two-man under, you don't, you're not over committing to the run, but you still got enough people to not give up a big, big game. So I'll give up two, three yards versus 50, 60 yards. That's just me personally. True statement, staying patient here, it looks like. Uh, just, you know, motioning across, yeah. using misdirection. Um, not necessarily misdirection, but, you know, motioning guys opposite directions. That dive is a beast. Oh, it's the best run play in the game. Oh, my goodness. He gets, he gets five, five yards on accident. So it's, it's insane. You see here, he got him. He got him set up for what it seems like it to be uh, the uh, flank of screen, just so he can get wide enough. <coughs> if you read zone, he likes to throw the ball out to Gore with Crabtree in front of him. Yeah. Third and four. Again, the dive. He ought to take his three, but I wouldn't be shocked if he goes for it. Yeah, I think the way he's been going, he's probably he's probably gonna go for it. But he's going smart on you this time, and he's only taking three. <laughs> just to prove us wrong. So that's all good. He takes his three. Good, right down the middle, 3-3. Three, three. Still got a ball. Game. You can tell there by looking at True Statement's facial expression, he's not happy with the result of that drive. Uh, of course not. But he's smart enough to know that, hey, three points is better than no points. So I applaud him for, for uh, uh oh Oh! Oh, look at that! Clutch! <laughs> Funny thing is, is that True Statement's facial expression has not changed no. at all since. <laughs> he looks like he got like a, that. like a lemon in his mouth or something. Just like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, he didn't brush his teeth good this morning or something. He just, you know, he just don't want to open his mouth too long. <laughs> Show no expression. <laughs> no. He's trying to be like Tim Duncan, but maybe constipated. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, he made a good, a good play. So I think it was. I think it was good. Good. I don't know about the decision that uh, Della made to move out of the way. I see what he was trying to do, but he was only going to get nine yards by not catching that ball. So he would have just been better off catching. But hindsight is always 20-20. But here we are. Two Stavis in business at the 15-yard line or 16-yard line, I should say. And, and you can see he's going gore, but, oh, had an answer for it. Oh, man. He set the house there. Yeah, he did. <laughs> was that in gay -G? I, I don't know. Oh, it, it was man. it was at least six. Yeah. Oh, look out! And there's that yeah, secondary the blitz again. Yeah. Yeah, the secondary blitz. I don't know who to blame here. Was it a 
very effective when run correctly. The problem is a lot of people are going to start running that now, but not do, not do it as well as, as Della. Did. So everybody thank Della for <laughs> this. <laughs> yep. Offense lines up here. Third and long. He'll fire it out Got him. To the left. Oh, if Moss could only catch. I think a lot of people with Moss, this, especially this year, are living off of what he used to do back in the late on the game, which is why he's never out of the lineup. But for me, he's done nothing but drop balls when we need him to catch them. Well, I go with AJ Jenkins. Goal. You're right, Jenkins, nice Jenkins or even offense. some guys I've seen put Lockett in for whatever reason, or put James in as a receiver. I've seen a lot of that as yeah. well. Either way, but like Moss just is not what he used to be, and he just drops balls all the time. What are your thoughts on this this short little uh, pooch kick that all these players are doing in this? Um, I I think like I used to not like it so much. I used to think it was cheap until this year came along and people were running kickoffs back like it was going out of stock. So I was like, it's better to give up 30 than give up a touchdown. Like, you can play defense for one series. Like, you can't stop a kick. Like, sometimes you can't stop a kick. So I, I'm down. I'm, a, I'm all for it. Well, they can make the pass, Jim, but that get the first down. So you got to throw one down the field. Offense lines up here. Oh, whip routes. Got Davis on the whip route. Nice play. Nice play by Della. I want to know why Vernon Davis is on the field. I, <laughs> I agree. That's 70, 72 catch. 72 catch is a nightmare, I'll say. And here he comes. Like, oh, oh. He hit him with a soul stealer. Oh, goodness gracious. Somebody check him. Is he all right? Kaepernick, it's right. a QB out. design run. Defense. I think he'll survive. Oh, man. I hope he's got on, like, a bulletproof vest or something. Swizzy, <laughs> as far as the fades go, I, I'm, I'm not actually very good at them. Yeah. I've, I've thrown mine toward the, to the back of the end zone with no pass lead. Do you throw them with a pass lead? Uh, I don't throw them with a pass lead. Um, I just throw I throw them. Sometimes I depend on where I am. Something I'll lob them. But I, I never throw with a pass lead. The only time I even use a pass lead if I see that they're doing a, they're in a, a, a sink, in which what I'll do is I'll throw it up past the guy who's sinking and right in front of the guy who's in the deep room. So. That's just me. It works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. As with everything. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing. The oh, crunch. He earned that touchdown. Crabtree, look, they're going to talk to him. <laughs> oh, man. They need to add, like, some ad lib in there, like some little trash talk after they do something good, kind of like in the real game. That would kind of that would kind of bring it all together. You know, that Maybe next year they'll add the Richard Sherman uh, clap for Roddy yeah, 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 yeah. White yeah. animation. They pull up, pull up the jersey shirt and say, you mad, bro? That whole thing. All right, back on offense here. I'm uh, I'm not sure who gets the ball to have. Who do you remember who gets the ball to have? Uh, True statement gets ball at half okay. because he forced three to start the game. Okay, okay, that's right, that's right. Because uh, so now, if he could just get down here and get something, it can be a field goal. A touchdown would be clutch. But if he could get get some type of points with the ball at half and not give the ball back before the half, I think he'll be in prime position to take this game. But. You know, we'll see. He hasn't made too many mistakes yet this turning. So, you know, like I said, we'll wait. After, oh, I saw it. He was going up top to Manningham. I really like this this defense that Dell is playing. Yeah. Um, With the secondary. Uh, it's great. It's yeah. great. It flushed him out of the pocket there. And it as I think that when you tend to break pocket, for some reason it activates the defensive lineman to block shit. Like, I, I noticed that when you scramble. Once you hit the turbo button, it seems like the defensive end always – Disengages. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. You know, seeing what he's been doing, I think he's going. He's looking at Manningham up top. Oh, nice, nice read right there with Moss, and gets down so he doesn't take a pummeling because you know that the the Niners hit sticks by the safeties or, or something. The safeties, the cornerbacks, shoot, even the 
nine-er pop corner vendor has a 99 hit power. So. I believe you have Alden Smith, Pat Willis, Ahmad Brooks, yeah. and Navarro Bowman all above 90 yeah. hit power. Yep. And then now you've got Deshaun Goldson at 96 hit power. <laughs> Granted, they lost them uh, Goldson to the Buccaneers, so right. this would but be the last for, we see of them. That's for Madden 25. So, so right um, now, everybody, I think, I think even Manningham has like a city two hit power just to make it <laughs> all together. Oh, that was a lot of play to do to get nothing. But good defense on Della's part. Uh, I think right now, because he's only got one timeout, he needs to start looking at going up the field. He's at the 45, so maybe he gets another 10 to 15 yards to get him in range for a field goal. Hit him. Oh, goodness. What? That's just bad luck. That's crazy. What animation is that? Oh, this is a crucial time right here. The only issue I had with that play call is not necessarily the play call. It's the fact that he came out in it. The well, fact that that tight end is across the formation yeah. by default, yeah. <laughs> excuse me, across the formation by default, yeah. um, tells you that it's a pass play because very few players are running that uh, halfback power on auto motion play. Yeah. The so only you thing they're going to throw. He made a good play. He made a good uh, a good conversion there, but the flats were wide open. It would have gave him a chance to get out of bounds, and he wouldn't have had to use that timeout that he could have saved to get in field goal range. Now, as it stands, he maybe has two plays left if he doesn't get out of bounds to, and to be able to get a field goal on. So he needs to get to the 42 so he can kick a 59-yard field goal. exactly what I was thinking. So the play he made right there, he there should he have made the last play, last play, but he did good by getting out of bounds. So good job with Crabtree with the uh, – <coughs> with the break tackle. So. And I think that, that's a pretty underrated stat like for a wide receiver. I don't think a lot of people look at it. Is the, uh, oh, man, Manningham naked up top. Oh, my bad, Crabtree. Oh, man, and that's, a, that's, that's what I like to call on my channel, like a reservation for six. <laughs> I had to do it. Got to get the hollow point. I had to do it. I had to do it. Check out my channel. No, <laughs> no, but for really, real. Go ahead, plug really. your channel. No, hey, I got, everybody, most of you on here know I got a channel, uh, Hollow Point 33, a YouTube channel. I do gameplay commentary and all that. So check it out. Don't check it out. It's cool. It won't hurt my feelings. It will a little bit, but I'll get over it. That's Hollow Point, H O L O O. So that's backbreaking for Della. Um, Della just gave up a touchdown before yep. half, yep. and True Statement's got the ball. Yep, exactly. Do you just get this feeling that True Statement is is on a path to to, to win this tournament? I do. He's he's hot, and like I said, he some of the, the the reverse effect of being in a loser's bracket is you get more reps. So the guys who win, the the like say for instance Joe, who's on the he's on the top right now. He won the winners bracket, right? But he's now he's been sitting for what a good four three or four hours. hours. Four and hours he's gonna now? have to sit for so probably he, two or three more. He's now as cold as he was before starting. Before it's just like the beginning of the tournament for him. So um, if I were if I were a guy like him, I would be labbing or getting some type of random reps with somebody. Say, hey, let's play, just so I can get my feel back in the game. Because right now, like I said, he's sitting cold, and a guy like True Statement has played what this is fourth game in a row or something like that, fourth or fifth. So you know. Like I said, it's all about reps, and everybody knows if you come out cold, like nobody goes in and play a money game their first game of the day. Right. You know what I mean? Everybody gets that warm-up game. So. Right there, there was no second-tier blitz, and, and True was able just to sit, sit and tight. Look, and he, got eight, he was good with eight yards because he didn't want anything else to happen. I would have honestly stayed in bounds right there, maybe, maybe though got down to keep the clock moving. But being at the third quarter, the clock's going to run anyway, so that was definitely a smart move by him. I feel a dive coming. That'll be the smart call in second and two. Yeah, yeah. But I think he's going to do a. This is the oh, stretch. Yep, yep. He likes to run it left an awful lot. I. I Goldson's lurking out there, too. I don't yeah. know. I think you I think you get away from. It's like get, you need to get stabbed by the knife or shot by the gun. You want Willis or you want Goldson. You know right. what I mean? So it's just, you got to. Oh, nice cut back. Call. Good stick. Oh, he great. He breaks out to about the 26-yard line, tackled by 
uh, Brown. That was a great run by Drew Staben going up, there, up, up the sideline. Going back to what you mentioned uh, pre-snap there, uh -huh. uh, you either get stabbed by the knife or shot by the gun. If there is one thing you have to do, well, technically it's two things. It's you have to know where Patrick Willis is, and you have to know where that Deshaun Goldson is. Yeah. Those are the two players that are going to cause the most fumbles for the 49ers. True story. Um, on that play, he audibled to the stretch, saw Goldson lurking off the edge, and decided to go with a power out to the opposite side of the field. Yep. Great call. Yeah. And, and the, well, the, the one thing you can't overlook is he went to his strong side. So he went to the side where he had the most blockers versus the most both versus the least defenders. So anytime you're running the, running the ball, one of the keys is you want to run in a place where you got more people than they do. That's just simple, you know, one running 101. So... You know, occasionally you want to do a counter to throw them off, but but most most of the time you're going to do a run play where you have more numbers than they do, which gives you more of an advantage. It just makes sense. So if you notice here, he went ahead and subbed out Crabtree out to the split in position and went ahead with Vernon Davis. Uh -huh. Do you think that? Out. Well, there oh, there's your or, answer. Oh my goodness, he just he just pushing people out the way. Did you have to mush him? Goodness. Do you think that that move was to set up this next play call right Absolutely. here where where now he's got Crabtree on the perimeter for a possible fade and yep. he's also got Vernon in the backfield for run blocking? Yep, exactly what it is. And that's why that's what he's been doing for the most most of the day. Even in his lo the one loss that he had, he ran, he ran the same – he's been doing the same thing. I don't think I've seen him turn the ball over I, I want maybe once, maybe twice maybe. For the whole day, so and that's he threw a pick the very first very first play of the very first possession he had of the day against me in our game. Right, but he recovered and played very smart football yeah. the rest of the way. And there's and there, a there fade. There's a fade. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, great this call. It's a lot easier when you're watching. When you're watching, it and you're not <laughs> playing it. Great, great call by you right there, Crabtree with a fade, and uh, he's going. This puts him up ten, and this is a critical, critical possession for Dylan. Because he's at the point now where he has to get something. Um, he needs a he need he needs a touchdown to have a chance to win it. But he ha he needs a field goal to to have a chance to be in it. So if he if he doesn't get a score here, it's gonna be tough for him because he hadn't been able to stop what True has been doing all day or all game, I should say. Now, are you participating in the buyback? Uh, I, am, I actually am not. I went 2-2. Two two. I lost to uh, T. Davis, 21-17. Um, but, I, uh, you know, one of my many, uh, I guess, job hats here is I'm helping out with Coach K to finish, finish off the tourney. You know, so I, I won't be participating in the buyback. I had a good run, though. I'm, I'm happy with my what I did. And, you know, in the end, it's just, you know, so go ahead and describe your – you played T. Davis. Who else did you play today? Uh, I played T. Davis. I played Lil' Man. Um, and I – oh, nice sack. What's called? Sack lunch. But uh, T. Davis lost to Lil' Man 13-3. to Just couldn't get any offense together. Um, as far as uh, with T. Davis, I played all – I played very well all up until the one – I had two miscues. One where Delani Walker ran back a kickoff for a touchdown on me on the short kick. Uh, and then another where I threw a pick when I had a chance to score for the win. So I threw a pick. So both of them were my fault. I can live with that. So, uh, but the two wins I got, uh, one against a uh, C4 member Ballhawk and another against uh, – Oh, that's a touchdown by Gore, and that was huge. Good job by the offense. Excellent mm -hmm. delay slip screen there. Too. Absolutely. Yes, you, you get line the blocking, the blocking up and follow the convoy in. That was a great play by, by Della to get back in this game. He really needed that. Absolutely. Does. So only down three now. He has a chance to win it now. So all he he needs, he can do two the things. He can just, he can A, stop him from scoring, or cause him to get a field goal. Either way, he still gives him a chance to win. So... If he can run the, run a bunch of bend but don't break type style defense, I think he'll be fine. Uh, but if you want to take the risk to try to maybe mix up some, some maybe send six every now and again, I would. But I don't think True is – I don't think you're going to rush True out of – True Staten out of his game. Because they haven't been able to do it all day, so I don't think they're going to start now. Uh, he's got this double place wing down pat by now. And you look, see, look, the combo. Oh, the slip. Look at Gore. Oh, man. He did his push-ups today. He did his push-ups today. That's why you have him in the game. 
What? <laughs> what does someone say? That's that's why you have a Frank Gore right there. <laughs> Shout out to that's <laughs> That's why you have a Frank Gore. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so you know, he's a beast. He's he a is. bull. He is. You need a bull out there. So. so we enter the fourth quarter. If you're our true statement in this game, the quarters are a minute There's longer. Is that going to change how you – would you play different in a four-minute quarter game uh, as far as the fourth quarter goes compared oh, to – Oh, Jenkins over the minute. Minute. But, honestly, I would not change up my game at all. Like, I would play the same way if, for him, and being that it's a four-minute it's four minute quarter, you still don't want him to get the ball back. So, in, in a turn, like, if this is a regular league game, you know, you don't want to, like, milk the clock because, you know, it's a league game. But in attorney style, I, I wouldn't play any different. I, I would play regular football. So I would get first first down, chain to chain, 10 to 10, make him use time, 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 because time's on your side being up three. So I wouldn't, me personally, I wouldn't give him the ball back. I wouldn't give him an opportunity. Now, even though you're up three in this situation, it, do you think it's better to pretend that this game is a tie game and treat it like it were a tie game? Um, yes, actually, because you still want to score. Like, you don't want to not score. You don't want to play too conservative where you, where you make mistakes. But you still want to be, a, be aggressive enough to where you get in position for the for, for win. So right now, he's, he's doing a great job of moving the chain. So if he can move the chain, like, he's at the 38 right now. So you figure three more first downs. You know, that's time of clock. You're looking at 240 right now. And he's doing a real good job managing the clock, so. Y'all watching, y'all, this, this is a real good time time management so far um, by two stages. Oh, read right option. Oh, caught him with his hand in the cookie Gore jar. Takes the play fake oh. and then gets out in front <laughs> and, block. <laughs> and blocks for <laughs> that Colin dude's Kaepernick. a bull. I'm telling you. Oh, my goodness. It's almost as if, you know, um, and the Niners actually ran something like that in the Super Bowl. It's called an inverted veer where the running back steps out in front of the quarterback, yeah. and the read is where the running back is scraping in front of the quarterback. Uh, the running back is scraping across the formation, and if the, if the quarterback it's keeps it, he's actually going to follow the running back as a lead blocker. Yeah, 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 it's perfect. It's perfect. I'll give a quick shout out to everyone that's uh, watching on the stream. Uh, we've got a lot of viewers. Uh, once again, we're here at uh, Local Battles at uh, Fort Lee, New Jersey. I uh, thank everybody for here that's running, helping us run this uh, Madden tournament. And shout out to everybody who actually showed up at the tournament and participated. Uh, we don't have everybody here that, that started, but still got a good enough group here to, uh, to finish the tournament out right. So shout out to everybody who showed up and everybody who's on the stream. Appreciate it. So the, the clock keeps dwindling down, but you don't really feel as if True is really milking it out. Yeah, and that's the that's the perfect way, I think, to, uh, to do it. You got second and four. Oh, Great nice call. play. Great call. Nice play call. Point that in doubt <laughs> of how to stop the read option. Blitz Patrick Willis. Same he'll, Patrick Willis. He'll, he'll make the right choice. He'll do it. That's like Palomalu one with the Steelers. It's the same way. You can do anything. He'll just change what you do on his own and make the right play. You honestly, you can you can user him. He's one of the better guys to use her. Patrick Willis is. But you don't have to. He can still make plays. And I honestly a, feel like oh, it's better to not Perfect play. Her. Look at that. You got that third first down that we're talking about. And as we look, as you can see, Della has one timeout. Now, however, him, I would not. It, he knows better not to use it because if he uses it, that's ball game. Whereas if he doesn't use it, he can. He gives away 30, 30 or so seconds. But he can still have a chance here, I think. Or I could be way off right now. Well, if he uses this timeout after the first down, you're going to be looking at second and goal with the clock stopped. Yeah, and then he can just kneel it out. Kneel it out twice. Yeah. So this game looks looking like it's going to 